Hi everyone. Today we have uh, Dr. Meghna, uh, who is uh, with us today, and uh, congratulations, uh, Dr. Meghna, uh, for you. doing so well in in the exam. And I'd like to just start off. It's very informal. It's just to help other people who are on the same path as you, and uh, yes. just give us your your introduction and uh, your rank and uh, uh, just in general. Sir, uh, I'm Dr. Meghna Kiyas. I hail from Vishakhapatnam. I have done my MBBS from Mysore Medical College, Karnataka. And I graduated in the year 2019. And post that, I did my master's in general surgery from PGMR Chandigarh. And I recently graduated in uh, June 2023, sir. And uh, post that, I came back to Vishakhapatnam. I had my family constraints. I had come back to Vishakhapatnam. And then I prepared for neurosurgery was my dream branch. And I prepared for it for the next six months. Sir. I gave the exam. And how did you score? I I got uh, AIMS Meritless Rank 1 and Common Meritless Rank 2. Excellent, excellent. So congrats, Meghna. That's a real achievement. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I'm so glad that uh, I'm beginning to talk to you and uh, you can share your experience. Uh, uh, just to start out, so how did you start preparing for, uh, for your... When did you know you were going to do neurosurgery? Sir, uh, this was during my first year. MB I mean, it is, it is very vague, but during my first year MBBS, our first class of our physio lecture, uh, our ma'am had asked us to write about what we wanted to become. So okay. at that point, I had written that I wanted to become a neurosurgeon. I had oh, no I clue whatsoever, but then I wanted to become a neurosurgeon. I had no <laughs> base idea of what it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But again, in my internship, uh, uh, in my college, there were no neurosurgeons. Sir. So during my casualty postings, uh, I had seen the amount of burden that was there and we used to refer all those cases. There was absolutely right. nothing happening in our college. So yeah. that made, at that moment, I thought, yeah, I want to be a part of this. I want to know how yeah. these cases are done. Yeah, so, that's a good one. That is Mysore Medical started. College, uh, uh, now they have... Uh, they have now they have, uh, sir. After my yeah, internship, good, sir. There, was, there was a department. But during my <laughs> internship, was not, that was very unfortunate. Yeah, 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 I can imagine. Yeah, that's why. Because in the beginning, what happens is in uh, uh, when they hire faculty, they don't have a department. So they will, in fact, uh -huh. get the PG residents. Uh, they will get the, in fact, the interns also to help out. And that's a really good exposure. Uh, for example, my uh, batchmates from Aligarh Muslim University had done uh, extradural hemorrhages, subdural hemorrhages as MS students because they didn't have a choice oh. because there was no one else uh -huh. to help. They were very exposed uh -huh. even when they came out of their MS uh, residency. Uh, this was case, the period nice. of my junior, sir. But somehow uh, during my internship, it wasn't there. So I was very unfortunate in that matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happens happens many times and uh, so how did how was your ms and uh, how did you start preparing and how was the exposure there PJ then, has a wonderful during my rotation. three years of general surgery i concentrated on general surgery only so okay, i wanted good. to have a generalist approach at good, everything good, good. i was not going towards good. speciality but the post post my exam i had contacted my senior who was very helpful dr ajay mm -hmm. uh, he's yeah. a neurosurgeon he's doing his fifth yeah. sem now and yeah. uh, he had guided me towards, I mean, matlab, what is neurosurgery? How to read it? What to do? Okay. I, did, I didn't right. even know the book. So he was the one who told oh, me okay. everything. In that one hour of his precious time that I got in the ICU, he yeah. told me what has to be done and how it has to be done. How you have to approach and what the, what are your expectations of it? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. He's in Ames. 550 I means Ames, right? Approximate. Nimhans or Ames? What's sir? He. Dr. Ajay. He's from, huh? no, he's from PGI only. He's my When you say senior. fifth year, they have five years uh, fifth, course in PGI. Fifth sem, sir. Fifth sem. Fifth sem. He's oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's interesting. So uh, that's really useful. Same thing happened with me. I went to uh, someone in names. Yeah, my senior I was really helpful, sir. I mean, at least to guide me through to, towards it. Yeah, I had yeah. my own apprehensions towards neurosurgery, but then... But then he guided me towards it. I'm very thankful for it. Yeah, you must and have had that whole that I, He told me to, uh, to see the marrow videos and yeah. then to solve questions and study Greenberg. That was a must. Yeah, that was the must. All right. That was and when did you, when did you start your... Sorry, sir? 
when did you start your proper did you do it throughout your ms or did you uh, no, no, no. Uh, after my course? ms i had um, after my ms what had happened was my father had uh, some medical issues or he, he had a, he had to have a cardiac stent placed oh, so okay. i think i up post that recovery and all post that i started in august right right so my okay. preparation as such started in august where i uh-huh. where i first first had an overview of the neuroanatomy I spent yeah. almost a month on neuroanatomy and that helped me a lot. Yeah. And then I saw the videos and yeah. based yeah. on the videos I had I had correlated to the Greenberg textbook and then prepared my notes. Oh, and then excellent. I remember. So uh, in PGI you must have had a proper 3 months uh, exposure right I remember we used to have residents uh, so during over, my first sem, that time it was during the covid era we had only one month posting and that too it was during my first oh. sem. So okay. I did not get much exposure of neurosurgery as a department, but yeah. uh, I still had that oh, okay. uh, like. Yeah, had that one speed. month uh, liking towards yeah. because uh, uh, for PJ Chandigarh we, we used to get residents for three three months at a time, sometimes three, sometimes even six months, oh. and you could do your uh, thesis in the specialty department. That's there in PJ mm-hmm. names both. Yes. Your thesis guide and your thesis topic for MS can be in neurosurgery. So we have a lot of juniors who've come through that, and then I've, I'm even working with them in in Gurugram right now, Guru Tejasvi in particular. So uh, okay, so how did you go about your preparation? Did you start with marrow lectures? Did you go to the books first? How was the exact process? I started with the book, sir. Matlab neuroanatomy. I started with the book. I had seen there there were two three lectures on neuroanatomy from marrow. I had first seen that, and then I read yeah. my book. Uh, okay. That took around a month for me. Okay. I okay. Uh, the neuroanatomy per se took one month, and I had prepared notes also based on that. In your lectures, you had told you have to draw your own diagrams. I had jibbishly followed whatever you had told in the lectures, okay. and then I did. I prepared yeah. my notes proper, and yeah. then and then the rest, the Greenberg, whatever the Greenberg topics that you had discussed in the marrow lectures, I used to see the video, and then I used to go back and study the Greenberg textbook, and then compile yeah. and write my. Notes. Right, so right, 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 right. This took this took a lot of time, but okay. but it was worth it, and it was very it was interesting. So that was the thing. The thing is, I found it very interesting. The process of learning neurosurgery it was very interesting. I think it's also fresh, right? I mean, after MBBS, you yes. don't really touch the system for about three years at all. Yes. <laughs> yes. So after that, getting back to it and getting something new is really good. And now. I would also encourage people to go online and uh, there is the surgical videos are there. Even if you don't understand anything, at least simple craniotomy and those who don't have exposure, uh, you know, they can see what it looks like. We didn't even know what it looks like. We have to take it from Greenberg and we have to go online to see photographs. Oh, this is what a shunt looks like. But now you can actually see the video of it. Um, so this took you, so basically this took you a couple of months and you started in August. Yes, I started in August and I think it took until uh, September, September mid. Of September. September mid, okay. And uh, uh, when did you start your MCQs and uh, that kind of preparation? MCQs were going on simultaneously, sir. Actually, at the end of the videos, there is one lecture where we have MCQ discussions, almost ten to twelve. Yeah. yeah. So I had uh, whatever the MCQs were being discussed, I had noted down and I had taken a printout of it, and then right. I used to go back and add on the points into my notes. It used to go on simultaneously. Right. 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 So, so the sources of MCQs for you were the lectures and did you go for books well, of MCQs? Yeah, well, mostly the lectures and the marrow video ka neurosurgery ke bhi the, sir, wo, uh, MCQs. Okay. Every topic based there were MCQs, like 10 to 12. There were 10 to 12 MCQs of each topic, even that I had done. That and yeah, the exactly. marrow lecture ka the last me there were 10, almost 10 to 12 videos with it. That yeah, yeah, the 12, the 12 videos. Topics. Aside yeah. from I'd, the I'd actually, MCQs, I'd actually seen MCQs. all the books at that time, you know, I'd seen all of them and I had taken the MCUs and you have to change the pattern slightly because there's no yeah. issue. But I try to cover as much. But now the more and more people are getting out more and more new MCQs every day. So we're trying to add that to our question bank. So no book is left. Uh, but that was the most that. helpful, sir. Matlab question bank, mein there were at least, I think, some uh, a maximum of 20 questions of each topic per se. But when right. there were video lectures of MCQ discussions, it was from right. different topics. You're not concentrating on one topic at that point. So you're right. getting an overview of 
of the entire greenberg in that 50 yeah. minute lecture yeah. and there are many such many such videos so it's kind yeah. of yeah. like a revision and it was very helpful I would rather I would I had taken a, I had written all those NCQs and had taken a printout. I mean, I didn't want to just uh, just listen and leave it. So that is the one thing yeah. I would advise my juniors to to matlab, have a note yeah. of these NCQ questions because it was very helpful for me at the end. Yeah, and I've uh, and I've been I've suggested it to the team in Marrow that they should actually make the MCQs into a book because I've done that for the neat uh, UG students. Oh, oh, wow, and they wow. can actually give the book out to people who want to uh, you know order it online. So that also really helps uh, because it'll, it'll so yeah, your process of getting it Xerox and all is is uh, you know it's uh, turned. Off. So um, that was so that you... was a bit of a tedious work, sir. But yeah, it I was can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, when did you feel that you are, okay, now I'm prepared, I can go give the exam. Did you ever feel that or uh, did you feel that, you know, now I'm good enough that, you know, I'll be able to do a decent job? Sir, even on the day before my exam, when I was traveling to Hyderabad, I had my own doubts. Will I, will I qualify through it? Yeah. Because yeah. I had prepared for the most difficult, but yeah. then the exam turned out to be very easy. The yeah. <laughs> pattern, I mean, I was pattern. completely shocked. I was not happy after coming out of the exam hall because I knew <laughs> the uh, it, it's going to be cutthroat. Even one mistake yeah, is going to good. cost many ranks. Yes, yes, that's a so, wonderful assessment. Not actually. even on For the day of my prepared. exam was I that confident. Ki yes, chalo ho jayega. No, that that there is always a lot to read. So there's there's nothing like I've completed my syllabus. There's always yeah, something yeah. new. Yeah, but uh, you're very right. You know, if you've prepared well and the exam turns out to be easy, it actually leads to luck more than uh, preparation. For those who yes. have prepared dedicatedly, if the exam is tough, it's good for you uh, because mm -hmm. you know it's it's that's happened with a lot of candidates. Like in the recent past, with me and uh, I've spoken to candidates now for two years, and it's the exams in which uh, things are very easy that those who prepared more, they sort of lose out on the ranks. But uh, Touchwood Meghna, you've done extremely well. Did you do group discussions? Did you have a group with you? No, uh, no. I prepared alone. You prepared I didn't alone. have any group discussions, no. So wonderful. You've gone back to Isaac, you locked yourself in, you've prepared for a couple of months and you've done uh, very, very well uh, with the help of Marrow Lectures, thankfully, and with Greenberg and your efforts. And uh, how, what would your recommendation be, your advice to uh, people who have just decided that they want to take up neurosurgery or they have just started like their preparation. How to go about studying for it. Yeah, how to go about it. How to go about it. Uh, yes, to start with neuroanatomy first. We have to spend a dedicated amount of time on neuroanatomy and not just the not just uh, focusing on MCQs. You should understand the neuroanatomy properly so that once you go back to Greenberg and the video lectures, you'll understand better. You'll have a better conceptual understanding of it. And uh, Greenberg is a must, sir. Videos should be seen, notes should be made, and Greenberg has to be read. That that yeah. is a must and should that I will say to my uh, juniors. And MCQs, okay. I think with regard to MCQs, I think Marrow is sufficient. The videos and the MCQ discussions is sufficient. That is what I did. So I found it uh, easy. Because the right. MCQs are very tough in Maru, the MCQ discussion as well as the Q bank, the questions are very tough. You need to have an in-depth knowledge of it. It's not superficial. So yeah. if that is covered, then you are you are good to go. Yeah. So actually, what's happening is that more and more people who create MCQs, um, uh, we've seen the new books. They're they're creating extremely tough MCQs. See, these are uh, faculty who worked in government or private colleges who decide that oh, I want to go into making an MCQ book. Then they realize that all the MCQs basic have already been covered. So now they are covering topics like deep brain stimulation and all in very much detail, which I don't think is fair to students. Required. But now that the MCQ, yes. yeah, but now the MCQ is out in the market. Someone, some faculty who's making your paper will pick it up from the market and say. Okay, let's just put this because it's there in this book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't have the time and sometimes even the effort to make your paper. They'll just pick it up from books many times. So, you know, if if there is an MCQ in the market that has been published somewhere that the person creating the paper can pick up, you should know the answer at least. 
<laughs> if you don't understand it that was the point of uh, you know there was a point yes, of making the excuse but again and, uh, i would also suggest my juniors to not concentrate on that 20% of hard questions and lose out on the 80% perfect. of the questions that are doable perfect perfect that's exactly it so one of the points of the question bank is that even if uh, in the last moment you don't have time to go into the depth of it at least know the answer to those because yes. they have been brought out from like you know you never should be they should not be an mcq that is out there and you don't know the answer to but you're very right most uh, most people actually they just uh, diverse they go away from the most commonly asked questions from every chapter so i think you've done Thank an you. excellent job uh, that way you've covered all of the topics and uh, the in depth questions at least that have already been published which is which i think has shown itself in your performance it's wonderful yeah megna so uh, uh, excellent you. performance with you being by yourself in in vizag and doing this and it really makes us proud that we've helped you uh, in your journey and what is what is the future you're going to, what are you going to take up now which college sir i wanted to take up pgi only it's my alumni i want to go back there okay excellent excellent yeah so uh, say hi to everyone from my side and uh, pj to every, obviously you know anytime you can give me a call and uh, you know you remind me so much of my batchmate and uh, senior dr vasundra i have had her also as well on one of the discussions uh, in our uh, test discussions and our interview based she is right now in nizams she's been faculty pgi she's been uh, done aims bhubaneswar and now she's in nizams in hyderabad and she is also uh, a tamilian but she's born brought up in andhra so she's very That's fluent okay. in telugu and uh, i'll get any and you need help because uh, she, she you know being a uh, there are certain challenges being uh, a, a woman in neurosurgery and i have written about that about vasundra and her journey and i've published articles uh, scientific articles in international journals about how it's changing for women in wow. neurosurgery how women are changing neurosurgery in india so uh, she, if you go to pgi you will be after vasundra only the sixth person in 50 years to pass out from pgi as a, a female to pass out from pgi in the history of 50 oh. years of pj the sixth after sundra so wonderful it'll be wonderful to see you there and uh, get in touch with me take the number from maru and i'll get you in touch with sundra and uh, you know community now that you're in the field that you're probably going to practice the rest of your life uh, community will help you a lot will be wonderful all right so uh, vizag uh, sravant being there in vizag uh, sundra helping you out during your residency i, I think it will be a very strong support for you so and we are i'm always here you know so yes. and uh, and uh, congrats to your family and that's one of the most important things i think family supporting you and i hope your father's better uh, after the stenting yes. good i'm so glad i'm so i'm sure they are very proud of you so uh, next time i drop into vizag i'll, I'll give them a call <laughs> very nice <laughs> sure. so so nice talking to you megna and congratulations yes. and uh, you, uh, thank you thank you you know, have a good journey ahead thank you sir thank you very much thank you thanks a lot bye